guys, welcome back to my channel. This week we are going to cover the topic that I get asked about a lot, which is what do I do with all of the junk journals that I make? How do I fill them? Now I might not actually be the best person to answer this question because I am a journaler. So I've got a million uses for journals, but I do get asked this a lot. So what I'm going to do, because this is a slightly different topic this week's video, Next week, I am going to cover all the things you can use journals for. This week, I'm going to answer that very specific question that I get from junk journalers who want to make the journals, but then don't know what to do with them. Okay, so next week is more about all the different things you can do with the journal. This week is for you guys who ask me about junk journals specifically. Now, I pulled out a few journals that I've created a recent, my recent stuff that's around. I don't particularly consider these the junk journals that you guys are referring to. They are actually in most cases made out of junk, rubbish, such as this one, which I did a tutorial on um, a few weeks ago and I'll stick a link to the video in the cards and in the description. And also my Remedies junk journal, which again is made out of junk and is a class that I did on my journal workshops community. Then this is a, another recent tutorial I did a couple of weeks ago. This actually I didn't consider a junk journal because I made it out of brand new paper, but that's another story I'll get into in a minute, um, where it's got a vintage look. So I've pulled out the, the journals that I've made of recent that kind of have a vintage look, but they aren't necessarily the junk journals that people are used to seeing and are making a lot of at the minute. So these are the journal shelves in my studio and I'm just going to, they go right up to the ceiling, <laughs> I'm just going to use what's on hand here to show you um, how I junk journal. I've already been through this in a video called what really is a junk journal, what I consider a junk journal, but I just want to show you what I've quickly got on hand, um, the difference because I'm not really journaling how you guys that are asking the question are really asking about journaling so for instance this to me is a junk journal because it's made out of um, a leather swatch a belt um, a recycled belt uh, I don't know what this was but that was recycled the paper inside recycled basically all of the elements are recycled except like the brads you know and I made a little series of these from like leftover little leather pieces that I had same with this little guy here Aren't you so cute, my little baby journal? He's so cute and small, the camera almost can't focus on him. So again, just this scrap piece of leather, this scrap piece of leather around the tie, scrap paper on the inside, and uh, just some gold detailing. This here I made out of greetings cards, so I consider that a junk journal. I have a tutorial that's maybe on this one too that's is made out of... Um, greetings cards too that I have a tutorial on my channel that's maybe eight nine ten years old so I'll stick a link to that if you guys want to go and make these even the covers here are made out of greetings cards oh, they're very cute and for journals that are made out of green cards they're very sturdy I mean <laughs> these are the original ones I made all those years ago excuse the mess um, all those years ago and they are just well-made journals so if you want to learn how to make them I'll stick a link to that video in fact it's two videos because YouTube used to work differently back then you only had so long um, an upload that you could do so please be kind because YouTube wasn't always what it was guys so ignore the technology wasn't up to <laughs> up to scratch back then this journal here is also made out of greetings cards just bound together with the binding machine so I consider that a junk journal even though I can not use it as an art journal this here this journal um, I made out of an old shirt old buttons and scrap on the inside or ephemera on the inside and uh, I can't remember what this came from a shirt I can't remember what that came from but it's you know it's recycled and beads from jewelry and things like that so that in a way is a junk journal even though it's a fabric covered journal this was an old folder I think I have a video on how I made this if it's not on uh, YouTube it's on journal workshops and probably in the monthly challenge group same with this one and so I'm sharing this because my junk journaling is a little bit different and in case you haven't seen 
the video about what is a junk journal where I do discuss the difference between different journals like art journaling, glue books, smash books, etc. So if you want to go and check that video out, you can. And if you want to see more inside of all of these and what I'm doing with many of my journals, because this isn't my only cachet, <laughs> you'll see more than what I've got going on here in next week's video. And what is happening is I'm getting a lot of messages from people that are being stopped from creating these journals in the first place because they feel like they have to use them. They don't want all these excess. They feel like it's a waste if they create these journals and then don't use them. I'm making this video for you guys to say, make them. Give yourself permission to create them if that's what you want to do. To me, it's more crafting. And if you fill the journal, then that's more journaling. You know, so to me, they are two separate things. I'm giving you this definition now of, of allowing yourself to consider yourself more of a crafter and creating these junk journals to free yourself up from that thing that's stopping you because you think you've got to be a journaler and then you've got to fill them. Okay, so I'm putting this video out for you guys to, to say, give yourself permission to just create whatever it is you want to create. Like, don't get so hung up on this needs to be a usable thing however if you want it to be a usable thing but you don't want to actually fill it next week i will give you a whole load of ideas for actually filling journals and in these ones if you want to do this tutorial i did a couple of weeks ago i give you prompts within this journal as to it's a 2022 journal and i give you all these prompts as to what to do with it. Now, by the by, you guys that did this tutorial, do you want to see my 2022? Is it helpful for you? Do you want to see my 2022 planning journals? Did you use the prompts? Are they helpful? Or do you want me to kind of go over that a little bit more? But that's by the by. This tutorial I did, I showed you how to do this no sew binding. And then I also showed you with the, these cool flip covers. And I told you kind of what you could give you ideas for what you could do inside. Same with the Remedies Junk Journal. We went through how to make that. And this is actually a class that's really more geared to the folios inside. But if you don't want to create or do anything in the journal, and, and you may make it and be so proud of it, you don't want to fill it with anything. Like, I've done that before, I've created something like, I don't want to put my handwriting on it or do anything else to it because it's not up to par with what I've actually created. If that's the case, but you still want to feel like you use your journal, there's a few options you could do. You could make them for display. You know, you could put them around your studio and just enjoy them from that perspective. That's still using your journal. You could make them for friends and family, still using your journal. You could make them to sell. There is a whole load of things that you could do if you feel like you want to use your journal. But personally, I don't think it's necessary. I don't fill every single journal I've ever created. This one is still empty that we did a few weeks ago that has the jewel signature. This is a tea stained sketchbook paper and it's jewel signature. My hands are too cold to open the journal up. Um, yeah, with uh, with like ephemera and, and scrap on the inside. I don't feel like the, you have to have the reason or, or, what's the word, end goal for a journal. If you want to make the journals, that's a good enough reason to do it. But if you want a use for your journals, then consider those other things that I've mentioned. That's really it. That's really it. I get asked this question all the time. I understand that a journal is a practical thing, but I just think go ahead and do what you want to do. And just because something is supposedly a practical item, you don't have to use it practically. It can be a thing of beauty. It can be a thing of joy just to create it. And if you want to then actually do something on the inside, I will cover that in next week's video. Much love everybody. I'll see you next week. All right, my belliettes, thank you so much for watching. If you want some more videos from me, please subscribe to the channel. And even if you subscribed 
ages ago, please make sure you hit the notification bell to be notified to actually see my videos when I post them. If you want some more stuff from me that isn't on YouTube, then head over to my General Workshops community, which is a private art space for those of us that are creatively minded to gather together to do things such as groups, activities, and also it's where I host all of my classes, including some free ones if you want some extra generally boosting time, binging, Netflix type style binging. <laughs> See you over there. Much love. But then not have any use for them and feeling like they need to use them. <laughs> You've totally put me off hitting that. <laughs>